We're going to read Let's Go Froggy. It's by Jonathan London. It was illustrated by Frank Remkowitz. Jonathan London does a wonderful job of changing the text to help us use our reader's voice to read with expression. If the word is super big, we use our big reader's voice to make it louder. If he puts extra letters in to stretch it out really, really long, then we stretch our words out and make our words sound longer. If he uses italicized or bold text, then we think about the sentence and we just say that word with extra emphasis. We also think about the character trait, what the character is feeling like or what the character is showing us most in the book about themselves. And we can use that as well as what's happening in the book to help us sound more like what the character would sound like in real life if this was happening. Let's read Let's Go Froggy and we're going to use our reader's voice to read with expression. Let's Go Froggy by Jonathan London. It was warm. Froggy woke up and looked out the window. Birds, butterflies, flowers. Hooray, sang Froggy. I want to go out and play. Okay, said his father. How about a bike trip and a picnic? Would you like that? Yes, cried Froggy. Let's go. First you have to get ready, silly, said his father. Okay, said Froggy. I'm getting ready. So Froggy got dressed. He pulled on his underwear. Zap. Pulled on his shorts. Zip pulled on his socks, zoop, and pulled on his sneakers, zup, and buttoned up his shirt, zup, zup, zup. Jonathan London, the author, also gives us these sound words so that we can use our words and sounds to make it sound like we're getting dressed too. Oh, it's extra big and it's all stretched out with extra letters. So we're gonna make our voice extra big and stretch it out. Froggy, called his father. Let's go. I'm ready, yelled Froggy. And he flopped out to show him. Flop, flop, flop. But Froggy, said his father, you need your bicycle helmet. I don't know where it is, said Froggy. It's wherever you left it. I forget. You have to go look for it. See how look is slanted? You have to look for it. See, it's italicized. It's slanted. So Froggy looked for his helmet. He looked under the sink. Bonk. He looked in the fridge. Slam. He looked in his toy chest. I found it, yelled Froggy, and he put it on with a slap. Zap. Froggy, called his father. Let's go. I'm ready, yelled Froggy. Flop, flop, flop. You should bring your butterfly net, said his father. I don't know where it is. It's wherever you left it. This sounds familiar. Did he forget something before? He doesn't remember where he leaves things. Is he being careful? No, he's not being careful when he puts his things away. Where did he find his helmet? In his toy chest, yeah. Is that where you would keep your bike helmet? No, it's not a toy. So now he's looking for his butterfly net and Froggy does not remember where he put that either. He's being very careless. So Froggy looked for his butterfly net. He looked under the coffee table, bonk. He looked in the garbage can, slam. He looked in his father's golf bag. I found it, yelled Froggy, and he swung it at a fly, swish, but missed. Froggy, called his father. Let's go. I'm ready, yelled Froggy. Flop, flop, flop. How about the ball Grandpapa gave you, asked his father. I don't know where it is. It's wherever you left it. So Froggy looked for his ball. He looked under the stove. Bonk. He looked in the cookie jar. Slam. He looked in the bathtub. I found it, he yelled, and he kicked it into the goldfish bowl. Splat. Froggy, called his father. Let's go. I'm ready, yelled Froggy. Flop, flop, flop. Let's bring the bag of peaches Auntie Lulu gave you, said his father. What do you think Froggy's going to say? I don't know where it is. And what's his dad going to say? 
it's wherever you left it. Froggy is not taking care of his things. He's not careful when he puts them away. It's the opposite of careful. So Froggy looked for the bag of peaches. He looked under the kitchen table, bonk. He looked in his closet, slam. He looked in his bed. I found it, yelled Froggy, and he took a bite, scrunch. He was getting kind of hungry. Help me out. Froggy, called his father. Let's go. I'm ready, yelled Froggy, flop, flop, flop. Daddy, can I have that pack of trading cards Uncle Gerald gave me? Okay, Froggy, but hurry, let's go. I don't know where it is. It's wherever you left it. Oops, here it is. I found it. It was in my pocket. Can we go now, Daddy? I'm ready. Okay, but do you know where my red backpack is? Asked his father. Daddy, it's wherever you left it. I forget, Froggy pointed. It's on your back, Froggy laughed. Oops, cried Froggy's father, looking more red in the face than green. So his father is a little embarrassed that he was careless, huh? Ready to go at last, Froggy flopped over to the bicycle. Flop, flop, flop. Let's go, Froggy, said his father. I'm hungry, said Froggy. I want to eat now. So they ate their picnic on the patio. Munch, scrunch, munch. Okay, I'm ready, said Froggy. Let's go, said his father. And off they pedaled into the sunset. Whee! Thank you for helping me read this book with expression. What character trait did Froggy show us the most? Remember, it's the opposite of being careful. It's when he is careless. He does not take care of his things. Don't forget, when you read your books, to use your reader's voice to show expression, to read the same way the character would actually sound if this book was happening in real life. I hope you practice it later.